Welcome back to a new episode of Master in Programming. In today's episode, we'll be learning how to pass a JSON file and assign it into objects inside of a Python program. And without further ado, let's just get straight into the point. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is importing the library or the module JSON. So I'm simply going to type in import and then I'll say JSON. Now, the second thing is actually let's create our JSON file. So to do this, I have actually created a invalidated, as you can see, valid JSON. Uh, file here. So what I'll do is I'll take this and I'll copy it and just a simple person when it says name, date of birth, age, married and a list of pets. So I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to come here and what I'll do is I'll assign it to person. So I'll say it's equal to. Now I'll create three different um, quotation marks and the reason for that is because if you have any special characters like things like this and like that and you want to put it into Python and if it's multiple lines then what you do is you simply just put three quotation marks and it will simply ignore everything else inside. So let's keep on moving. It will even also ignore other quotation marks inside those three quotation marks. So the next thing that we're going to do is first let's actually pass this JSON file and tra like transform it from just a string into a proper JSON. So what I'll do that I will simply create another object and I'll simply call it JSON first you can obviously call this anything you want and i'll say it's equal to json so now we're using that library that we imported dot loads and we're going to pass in person so we're loading that uh, string basically into a json so i'm simply going to say for person and now just before we do anything further let's just print that and see what we have what we get so if i say json parsed oops sorry json passed um it might not run let's see real quickly why Okay. Uh, oh, sorry. I was I typed in the wrong thing. So now, if we run this, you see that it prints it us for us. But obviously, this is not too useful. Now we want to actually extract extract some information from this. So that's exactly what we will do now. So I'll remove this. And the first thing I want to demonstrate is how we can just extract like a little thing, like name. Let's say we just want to print name. So what I'll do is I'll come over here, just so we identify. I'll say something like username. Uh, Let's give it a colon and then I'll say JSON parsed and inside of here we're going to be passing the exact same character or the exact same name given in your uh, JSON. So you need to know what your JSON will be looking like and I'll come over here and I'll simply type in two quotation marks and then I'll put name and if I run this you'll see that it prints David Bullis exactly what was in the JSON. Let's just do a few more of these so I'm just going to copy that. Uh, the line and this time I'll just put date of birth and inside of here obviously I'm just going to replace it with DOB so exactly how it's copied here I run it and as you can see it writes it the same but what if we want to add a few different things so what if we want to for example do actual um, things using that information come from the JSON so now I'll take this age and I'll actually add a few numbers to it so let's go over here and I'll say print and I'll say age and I'll simply say JSON passed and inside of here I'll pass the age exactly the same except this time I'll say plus one and if I run that you can see everything gets printed but if you look closely over here I was actually able to change that information coming from the JSON so it's not just a string it's actually something that you can work with and play around with and to, just to demonstrate this I'll actually multiply it with like a thousand or something or a hundred um, so if I run this, you can see that you can fully manipulate it as much as you want. So now, and this is all something that tricked me, is how can we pass something like this? So it's an actual item inside the JSON that contains a list of things. How can we do it? So let's just do it really quickly. So if I come over here and say print, and maybe we're just going to remove the rest of the stuff so that we're not printing too much stuff. And I'll say JSON passed. And inside of here, I'm going to be passing pets because that's the name of our list. If I run this, you can see that it gets printed like this. But how can I filter each single one? Well, what we can do, obviously straight away, you can just do something like this. And if I run it now, you get the first item of the list. But what if I actually want to print each single item of the list alone and do things with it? Well, what we can do is I'll actually remove this and I will say pets are equal to JSON pass pets. And then I'll use a for loop. So I'll say something like, for pet in pets what we want to do oops sorry 
for pet in pets. First of all, let's just print them. So I'll say something like pet. If I run this now, you can see that it prints each single one alone. But now what I can do is I can even use that in if statements and more statements. So I can say something like if pet is equal to dog, then what I want to do is I want to say print David, which is me, owns Harley the, and then I'm going to come over here and say pet. Else, if the value that we're getting from the JSON is not actually a dog, if it's any other pet, then what we want to print is David, oops, David does not own a pet. So now let's run this and see how it goes. I'm going to run it. And you can see that A, we managed to print a statement for each single line, but we managed to compare that to our condition. So it says David owns Harley the dog. So it detected that that pet was dog from the JSON and it gave it a name. It detected that it wasn't a dog and then said David does not own a chicken or a rabbit or a cat. So basically in this quick video, you, met, you learned how to print the items from a JSON file, how to pass it, how to assign it to an object and then use the object to even assign other things to it and compare it. So I hope this video helped you. I hope you can use JSON files in a lot of your apps and your projects because it's really useful. And please make sure you leave a like and a subscribe if you did actually enjoy this episode. Thank you and see you in the next episode.